Oh yeah, chair shot rally. Juice, juice. You ready? Oh yeah, baby. You ready? Chair oh, shot yeah. rally. Oh yeah. Woo! Yes, chair shot rally. Number one procrastination going in. The rev. Yo! How you We're about to film, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Britt Baker's here. Britt Baker's here. She's back. She's back. Britt Baker. Bay, 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 bay. Britt, Britt, bay, 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 bay. Bullet Club for 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 life. You know, every now and again, we at Chair Shot Rally, we stumble into something great. And what better, it's the hottest time of the year if you're a wrestling fan. So what better way than to have some extra segments. And we got to get rid of all this, the regular cast. We're not good enough. we got to bring in a three-time world champion for Ring of Honor. Three times. Mr. Adam Cole. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good. Very good. Thanks Excited for taking the time to, to join us. Of course. Of, of course, course. Juice Springsteen here. We, we can't have uh, an Adam Cole segment and not have Juice Springsteen uh, involved. Who better? Who, Who better? better? Absolutely. I do, uh, I do what I can. Uh, let's, let's just jump in career-wise. Um, right now, I... Uh, Hottest free agent. What does that mean? What, what does that, what does that, the, the term's getting thrown around a lot. It's being attached well, to you. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that has been attached to my name uh, quite a bit lately. But the truth is, I'm not a free agent yet. I yeah. still have, like, another month on my Ring of Honor contract. But as far as where I see myself in the next couple of months, uh, that's totally up in the air. As everyone knows, the things change in pro wrestling all the time. So to try to um, uh, expect what's going to happen in the future is just foolish to me. Yeah. So again, I have, a, I have a solid month in Ring of Honor that I have to focus on before I think about anything else as far as my career goes. Is, is there any more pressure on you because that's, you, you have that decision to make, you don't know what's going to happen, it's, it's just putting more focus on that? Yeah. And ROH has been good to you. you know? Very good to me, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, if, if this was me when I was 19 or 20 years old, I definitely would have had my brain rattled around the idea of what am I going to do, where am I going to go, what decision am I going to make? But I've really benefited uh, in these past couple of years on focusing what's right directly in front of me and the task that I have at hand. Because mm -hmm. I have big match after big match, weekend after weekend. Right. So if I focus too much on my future, then I feel like I lose track of where I'm going, who I'm trying to become. So really, I don't feel any extra added pressure. It's an exciting time, though, for sure. Talking about big match, uh, we got a little, got a little something <laughs> up there. I mean, yeah. you got a pretty face, but you got a little, little, little uh, stitches up chicks there. Chicks dig scars, though, right? <laughs> right? What's the story with this? Uh, it's really not an exciting one, but uh, <laughs> in October in Detroit, I was in an eight-man tag team match that Dalton Castle was in. Dalton happened to punch me extremely hard on the top of my forehead. Uh, it swelled up, and I'm just assuming, like any other wound like that, that it'll just go down. Not only did it uh, never go down, but it hardened and it turned into an actual cyst. Mm. So I went in, and I finally, after being lazy, I finally went out and got it cut out. And the issue was the cyst was not just under my skin, it was under my muscle fibers and my muscle tissue. So there's about six stitches here, but there's like five stitches underneath uh, the skin as well that I have to be really careful about as, as far as if they bust open or not. The wrestling's fake, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah right? That, F, that F word. Um, so in addition to Ring of Honor, you've uh, extensively worked in PWG, yeah. which has been considered the ECW of the West Coast. How has PWG affected your career? Clearly positive. You've been out to PWG, should I have, I have yeah. yeah. I was out at uh, 13 this past July. Oh, flew all the way out there just for it. So. Yeah, uh, PWG's been huge with my career. PWG was uh, a company that kind of gave me the ball before Ring of Honor did. So before I became the three-time Ring of Honor world champion, I was the longest reigning PWG yeah. world champion. Uh, and those fans, too, have such a good grip and understanding of what is cool and hip and pro wrestling. So if those fans accept you and if those fans get behind you, you really start to have the confidence to be able to say, hey, I can go anywhere. I can go to any place at Ring of Honor. I can go to Japan, and I know I can get over, or I know I can make it. You know, one of the things we were going to bring up here in a second was, was asking about the state of wrestling in 2017, but I'm going to yeah. kind of segue into that from you talking about the fans. It, we talk about it a lot here. Obviously, the fans are what keeps us going, and we are fans, is you, the, the, the casual fan, the smart fan, the internet fan. We have all these labels depending on how a person reacts mm -hmm. and, and what their level of, of interest is. Uh, how do you decide? I mean, because you're you're pretty well loved by obviously the internet fan, no, the so-called internet yeah. fan. Yeah. But, but then again, everybody's an internet fan because everybody has the internet. So, yeah, where's, yeah. The, where's the line at? That's kind of exactly. I'm glad you brought that up because maybe 20 or you know 10 years ago, people would really decipher the differences between an internet fan and let's say a casual wrestling fan. Right. But again, in this day and age where everybody has the internet, it's like everyone has become an internet fan. And not in the sense of getting on message boards or complaining like a lot of people like to label some people who are internet fans. 
But just the general fact of, again, if you look at what the casual fan looks at in a great pro wrestler now as opposed mm -hmm. to 10 years ago, it's much different. A lot of their favorites are your AJ Styles or Seth Rollins or CM Punks or Daniel Bryans, these, these independent darlings or these internet favorites. Now the casual fan looks and appreciates their talents based on just all the wrestling that they have available. Yeah. So I'm, I'm seeing less and less the, the strong differences between a so-called internet fan and uh, just a casual wrestling fan. Yeah, you see now more across the board uh, that there are more and more hardcore wrestling fans. And if not even hardcore, there's just so much access to watch anything. Right. I say all the time, if I was a wrestling fan in this day and age, like a 10-year-old kid, I would have never had a social life. I would have just <laughs> stayed in my house all day and watched wrestling. So I'm kind of thankful. What, what would a 10-year-old you have thought of Adam Cole, baby? I probably would have thought I was I had a to big get it jerk, right, man. Fine. I don't know if I would have liked because my favorite was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Like I liked the uh, the the really tough guys, so I I, I probably would have hated somebody like me. But that's kind of what I was going for. Yeah. All right. So with with the internet and however we you know define it, why mm -hmm. do you think so many fans get so attached to, to ratings of, of matches? Like Dave Meltzer, why why is he labeled as, as such as such a high uh, ranking authority for it? Why do fans take take it such to heart? Uh, I think. I think because pro wrestling fans are passionate and they're strongly opinionated. Like, I, I think to them, the rating system is a way for them to voice their opinion on whether or not something is good or whether something is bad. Uh, again, you'll see just as much talk on the internet. Some people love me to death and some people think I'm the worst wrestler ever, but they're passionate about it and they talk about it. So I think the rating system is, again, just a, a way to open more discussion with wrestling fans, it's a way for them to talk about matches, why they're mm -hmm. good, why they don't think they're good. So to me, it's just another outlet uh, of them to voice their opinions on how they feel. That's why I think they're so passionate about it. Okay. All right, we ended on a little, uh, little fantasy. Uh, dream match with uh, an opponent, dead or alive? Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is my number one pick. He's the greatest wrestler ever. Favorite Shawn Michaels match? Uh, favorite Shawn Michaels match? Uh, for me, just because what I love about pro wrestling is the emotion that's invoked. Uh, in a room, and I happened to be there when this will be a, probably a strange one. As far as mechanically, it wasn't the best ever, but as far as the moment, Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair in Ric Flair's retirement match mm -hmm. with Ric Flair crying right before the Sweet Chin music. The way they did that was just, it was brilliant. It was perfect. And great camera work to get him out Amazing and, you know. camera work. Yeah, yeah. So uh, for me, I don't think there's anyone who could have quite done that with Ric Flair the way Shawn Michaels did. So that one's really special just for, again, I, I, when that match ended or even when the finish was coming, I looked beside me and there were people crying yeah. in the crowd who were genuinely moved and, yeah. and sad that he, he was going away. Uh, so for me, that's why pro wrestling is so special, the emotion that we get from it. And that's why that match is my favorite Shawn Michaels match. I was nine years old watching WrestleMania 12, him and Brett in the Iron Man match, and that was that's probably still one of my favorites. And I always think that if I was not, that I think it was because the fact that I was nine years old and I was able to, my attention was able to be kept for an entire hour, right. and understand what was happening and the ups and downs of it. So, favorite Shawn Michaels match? It's a tough one. I don't know. A lot of good ones. I know. A lot, yeah, of, good a lot of good ones. Man, he's shaped the way for everybody doing the super kick, so I guess all the <laughs> matches are my favorite. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't go wrong with any of them. And we'll Myself end, included. And yeah. We'll end it there. Follow Adam on Twitter. Of course, Chair Shot Rally. Make sure you uh, follow, like, subscribe, share, whatever other call to action you need to do. Uh, spread it all around. We are, of course, on the road to WrestleMania. And keep it right here. We might have a little bit more of Adam Cole. <laughs>